on this deal, we're joined by Joseph Kienese, Executive Vice President of EP Financial Solutions. Joseph, thanks for joining us. So China's Dalian Wanda, thank you. China's Dalian Wanda is buying the controlling stake in Hollywood film studio Legendary Entertainment for three and a half billion dollars. Wanda describing this deal as, quote, China's largest cross-border cultural acquisition to date. How significant is this deal? It's, it's very significant. Uh, as I think we've already stated as part of this uh, program, Legendary has a proven track record as a producer of both commercially successful as well as globally successful content, both film and television. So I think this is a really important acquisition for Wanda. Well, Wanda has been in the market to position for a while now. I was reportedly talking to DreamWorks Animation last year. That didn't happen for reasons we don't know. Why did it go for Legendary as opposed to another studio? I mean, I'm not, I really can't answer why Legendary, but I do know why it was important, again, for Wanda to get this acquisition. Uh, as we also mirror distributor, both in, in China and in the U.S., so it's really important for them to get that global access. In addition, Wanda is in the process of building a huge studio in Qingdao, slated to be the largest studio in the, in the world. So I think not only does this acquisition give Wanda access outside of China, it also gives uh, the outside access into China. And hopefully through legendary producing at this facility, they'll see more uh, international producers and U.S. producers coming to China to produce, which will help develop infrastructure. You know, Entertainment Partners is uh, a global leader uh, behind the scenes for film and television. We, we handle payroll, financial services, and technology. So we really know how important uh, entertainment will be in developing uh, infrastructure in these jurisdictions. Well, Joseph, clearly a mutually beneficial deal. Now, legendary entertainment is behind huge hits uh, like Jurassic World, the Dark Knight Batman trilogy, and Godzilla. So how do you think the Wanda deal will influence future content and the type of films that a Legendary could be producing? Well, I, I think what we might start seeing, and we already are seeing this already, is sort of an introduction of more of the, the Chinese culture into film. Uh, I don't think it'll ultimately change the overall content, but we will see, hopefully, a breakdown in sort of the, the cultural uh, misunderstandings. Uh, I think that one of the larger productions that Legendary has already finished filming, and they shot it in China, is The Great Wall, which, again, will bring uh, the rest of the world, giving them access to the Chinese culture, which I think is really important. We have seen the sort of gradual introduction of more Chinese elements in movies and incorporating things to appeal to the Chinese audience. Clearly a wise move, given that it is the second largest box office in the world. But do you think that we could see a trend to make Hollywood movies more aggressively catering towards uh, the Chinese audience? I, I think so. I mean, it, again, we already said that right now in 2017, the Chinese market will have surpassed the U.S. market. So there's obviously going to be a demand in China to sort of feed that, that need. So obviously, I think the content will change, whether it's uh, Legendary's content or other film producers changing the content to sort of meet the demand of the consumer. Let's look at what this means for Wanda. It already owns China's biggest chain of cinemas. It also owns uh, AMC, which is uh, the biggest chain of cinemas here in the U.S. So it's really positioning itself to become a global media powerhouse. What is the strategy there for Wanda? Why such an aggressive diversification into media? Well, I think film and television and, and, and digital distribution is really the access to the world, uh, whether it's going to the movie theaters or watching it on, on our phones. I think that gives you the greatest access to eyeballs. I, I say that a lot, that everybody's interested in tracking those eyeballs. So, And we're all watching film. We're all watching television. So what better way to, to uh, reach, uh, reach the masses but through film and television? Well, some would argue that we're watching less of TV and focused more on mobile devices, but certainly the, the theater play is, is, is a big one. And uh, Wanda's founder, Wang Jianlin, says he plans to combine the Hollywood studio with some of his in-house film production units and then publicly list that commercial. really know about the IPO plan, but going back to your comment before about television, you know, people may be watching less television on traditional television screens, but there's probably more television production happening, um, you know, at least in the U.S. than, in, than, than film production. So I think that 
you know, we're, we're talking strictly about film here, but I think television as well as digital distribution is going to be a huge uh, uh, influencer in this whole overall deal. All right. Thank you so much, Joseph Kinney, Executive Vice President of EP Financial Solutions.